What's up, YouTubers? Hey, buddy. Newton wants to say hello. He's too busy with his straw, though. Anyway, this is going to be a video on the, uh, or an overview, overview video on the Celestron CPC Deluxe 1100HD. Uh, I just got the scope in today. I ordered it last week from Astronomics. Um, great store, by the way. Very good customer service. Um, and basically, I just wanted to upgrade from my old Newt, and I wanted to get a Smith Cassegrain. And um, decided on a fork mount of Smith because I wanted to have the versatility for um, using the Alt As fork for visual observations, which is a lot easier to use than your uh, your standard equatorial mount. And when it comes time to start imaging, I can put on an equatorial wedge, and uh, we'll be good to go from there. So uh, part one is going to be on the tripod, part two will be on the accessories, paperwork, and software, and then for part three I'll actually mount the OTA and fork onto the tripod, and uh, I'll show you some of its features, and we'll go from there. So I have the, the tripod fully extended so you can see um, how tall it is when it's uh, fully extended. It's about four feet tall. Um, it's pretty sturdy. Uh, it's got two inch aluminum legs, which are nice, and it's got a, a spider in the middle um, to help make sure that those legs are fully extended. Um, as an accessory tray, uh, the accessory tray is uh, cast aluminum, it's pretty heavy, heavy duty. It's got um, holes pre drilled all around for your one and a quarter eyepieces, and then of course, there's plenty of room up here to uh, store your two inch eyepieces and uh, whatever else you may have. Um, the way the, the mount works, as far as uh, mounting the, the fork onto, um, you have this pin here, and then you have these little indentations on the uh, head of the tripod, and of course you have your mounting bolts. Now the mounting bolts themselves are uh, captive and spring-loaded, so that's good. You're not going to lose them anywhere. Um, and basically how it works is you just set the, the base of the uh, fork mount on top of the tripod. There's a hole underneath the, the base that lines up with this pin. And once you get that pin centered, the uh, base will snap down. Then basically you rotate the base until the feet on the bottom match up with these indentations and it kind of drops down uh, flush with the, uh, the top of the uh, tripod. And then you just push up the mounting bolts and spin them in nice and tight and you're good to go. Um, it is a little bit unwieldy to uh, to line up that center hole with the pin. Uh, it's just going to basically be something uh, I'm going to have to get used to over time. It gets a little bit easier uh, after every time you do it, but um, because of the weight of the, the OTA and the, uh, the fork mount, it can be kind of unwieldy at times. They, they do make an accessory for this. It's called a landing pad. And it basically mounts on top of this, and it helps you pretty much center that, uh, that center hole over this pin. Um, it also has a bubble level, so you can, that'll help you uh, level the mount. And another nice little nifty thing is uh, the strap, which um, whenever you have the, the tripod collapse, you can put that around the legs to help keep it together. And uh, you can also um, collapse the tripod with the accessory tray still on. You basically just loose it up and rotate it so that the legs fall in this indentation here. And uh, that will uh, basically be able to, to keep the uh, accessory tray uh, with the tripod at all times. And it's got little rubber feet here so it doesn't mark up your, your aluminum legs. That's pretty much it for the tripod. So it is pretty steady. Remounting bolts. And as a side note, um, if you're using a scope as heavy as the uh, 1100, you're probably not going to want to have the legs fully extended. And um, the reason for that is you have stability issues. You want to keep the center of gravity as low as possible um, to make sure that it is uh, nice and steady and to avoid uh, unwanted vibrations. For visual use, it's probably not that big of a deal, but if you're going to be imaging, you definitely want to 
have those legs retracted all the way. Alright, so on the part two, we'll have uh, the accessories, uh, the manual, paperwork, and the software.